Welcome to my battle station. So I have my Arsenic ThinkPad here and my work MacBook Pro over there and a couple of monitors. Uh, normally, this is just used for previewing my GH5 and that one is like having my chat window, whatever over there for my MacBook Pro. And I'm conscious, especially after reading this article by Tonsky from Novosibirsk, that ergonomically speaking, I should have a keyboard here and I should be like looking directly in front of me, right? But I'm cursed because I like to use Arch, but there's a lot of work requirements that re require me to have a MacBook Pro, at, as well as like, you know, editing video. I need Final Cut Pro 10 to edit the video, I'm sorry to say. So it means that I kind of need two machines and you can't really easily flick between two machines. They're like, okay, you get these things called KVMs, I think, where you can switch your keyboard and maybe your mouse, but there's more to it, right? Like you've got to also be able to flick the screen. Is there any, is, is there a switcher thing? I, I'm, I don't know. You tell me guys. I don't think there's any good solutions. And it, do, it doesn't just stop at, you know, keyboard, mouse, and, um, and, and, and the output of the screen. You know, like for example, my microphone, I have to often uh, unplug it from my, my arch and, and, plug, and plug it into my, my MacBook here. Same goes for, for audio. So is there, is there like a switcher to do it all? I, I don't think there is. But if there is, let me know. But, but at the same time, I do kind of like having two windows. Yeah, I, would, I kind of like having like one MacBook screen and, and one. Anyway, if, if you know if there's a switcher thing, do let me know. Comments below. Thanks for getting this far. Oh, one of the reasons why Nikita, Nikita was advocating for a bigger screen is for the font rendering. And I think he's got some nice arguments. Uh, basically, I think he's saying that you, you, want, you want a 4K screen and go double scaled. And I'm very conscious about my, the font rendering too. And I'm just curious what your experience was because I noticed, I'll share my configuration in the description below, but what do you think looks better here? We've got bitmap on the left here. That's why it says Alacrity up there. And we have TTF. I, I don't like the, it kind of, I think the, I think the, the bitmap fonts look crisper to me. Okay, just for completeness, I've got my Arch machine out, connected it to my 4K uh, LCD panel from LG. Now this is the font rendering, sorry for the reflections. See, that's, that's bitmap, that's TTF. Look at the bitmap here. It looks crisp. Look at it here. It kind of... Looks... Not fat enough. And maybe like... It's got like chromatic aberrations on the edges. Almost. Bitmap. TTF. I think bitmap does look better to me. Just just that little bit more full bodied. Let me just scale up the TTF a bit more. So that's one thing you can do easily. Okay, now 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 with the TTF, you can see that the percent sign looks really ugly here. Yeah, I think it's fair to say TTF bitmap. I think it's fair to say that bitmap is the winner, at least in my eyes, even on a big screen like this. Like for example, look at the TTF here. Look at the percent sign when you get a little bit bigger. Percent sign when you get a little bit bigger on, on bitmap doesn't seem to make it much of a difference. Sorry, it doesn't. Okay, one problem with bitmap doesn't seem to resize very well. Like you, you can see that 
the TTF, at least on my ThinkPad screen, is getting a little bit slanted and all that sort of stuff. I'm not sure what to make of it. So since I see bitmap fonts being less problematic, I'm sticking with bitmap fonts. I'm curious, Arch Linux users out there, do you use bitmap fonts? Do you have any, do you have any suggestions how to improve font rendering on here? And last but not least, is there like a KVM switcher that includes monitor, monitor and microphone and other little bits and pieces? Like a, 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 like a USB-C hub is awesome, but a USB-C hub that can switch between two, two machines, is that possible? That, that's, the, that's where I'm headed here. Thanks guys for getting this far. Bye.